Well, I've adjusted the uh, handle on the uh, on the machine, and it's all ready for its first go. So let's go and uh, start it up and see how it gets on. I've checked the grass, for stones, and, and hedgehogs. The last thing you want to do is for Mr. Tiggle, Tiggy Winkle to end up with uh, Mr. Stumpy. That would be a disaster. So it cuts it well, it, it uh, moves at a good pace, uh, it's not too difficult to manoeuvre, it's just quite heavy, but uh, it's not too difficult to manoeuvre. But you can see there, there's an awful lot of it.
it's probably going to take a few weeks to get it sorted. You could just do maybe with being a little bit higher, the blade at the front. But uh, I just lean on the handlebars, lift the blade a little bit, that's not a problem. Anyway, let's carry on. Well, this is what he's having to cope with, and it's uh, it's doing remarkably well. Every now and then he had a, a really tough patch, and you just have to back off and raise the blades a bit, but for the most part, it's no problem at all. Wonderful. Well, this is what you're left with when I uh, take the top off. You're left with the these really dense tussocks but uh, I'll get the thick off all of it and then I'll come back when this is all dried out and uh, I'll, I'll tidy it all up a bit And of course comes the task of raking it all up <laughs> and carting it off into a big heap, which would probably take two days on its own. The last two days it's been raining, so uh, I was hoping to get it finished. Everything is absolutely ringing wet through, so. We'll have to wait till tomorrow, which promises to be a nice day. You can see there just how dense it is. Well, I'm about, about halfway through it, and uh, this all remains to be cut. This is what you have to avoid cutting through. <laughs> One of these is a big wasp's nest. And then once the grass is cut, of course, it then cut in hedges. I could have done that today if it had been a bit drier, but uh, the hedges are absolutely dripping with water. And uh, electric hedge trim is the last thing <laughs> you want. Electricity and water don't go together. I've already cut it once. Uh, they grow very quickly, the thorn hedges. And it's best to cut it when it's soft. If you wait till it's hard, then uh, it's a very thorny. Uh, it'll all get done eventually. But no hedge trimming, no grass cutting. Uh, I'll have to go fishing instead. Any excuse.
can see it's a bit, uh, it's a bit rock and roll here. <laughs> Run over these tussocks, and of course when it leads to one side, it digs the blade in, and the clutch starts slipping. So you have to stop immediately and pull it back. But it's easy to do. It's not. Uh, I hope I said it was, it was someone frail. But certainly I can cope with it all right. No bother. And, uh, once I get this thick off and get it all wrecked off, then I can go back and just tidy up those thick pieces which it uh, is found very difficult to do when you have to lay, raise the blade. Once they dry out, um, then they should be much easier to cut. So yeah, I'm very pleased with this. It's a <laughs> very pleased machine. Well, everything was going really well. Job just finished. And uh, I'm going to just try to trim a little bit. Nothing. The blade wouldn't operate at all. And uh, when I've come to look at it, there's a bolt missing there. I mean, <coughs> this is only after what? Eight hours of operation that bolt's come out there. The, as I say, the blade is not operating at all. Now, whether it's to do with that bolt or, or what, I don't know. How annoying. Now we've got the thick off it all, uh, I'll come back and trim it up. Sounds like, sounds like having a fancy haircut. And then I'll be able to keep it knocked back with a. I have quite a powerful lawnmower, so I'll be able to. Uh, I'll be able to keep it knocked back, and hopefully, that'll be it. I mean, there's a good example of what the machine's been having to cope with. It's all go. Cool. <laughs> Steady away, a little bit often. When you finish the job, before you put the machine away, you've got to clean the, uh, the cutter bar. And you've got to take it off. The first thing you have to do is remove these two bolts here, holding the drive onto the cutter bar. And uh, you just use an Allen key for that. 
That's not a very difficult thing to do. I'm going to remove those two bolts. The next thing you do is slacken off these uh, lock nuts on the uh, on these pins. And there, are, and there are four of them along the bar. These pins are used to. Uh, Set the uh, the cutting play on the uh, on the blade. Anyway, they just need slackening off, and again, you need an Allen key for this. And what I do is I just slacken them off half a turn. The bar should now come out. If it doesn't, just give it a slight tap on one end. You know, a piece of wood and a hammer. Don't, don't use the hammer on the, on the metal bar. and just use a glove to pull the bar out. Now all that remains to do is, uh, is clean it all up. Um, any crud that won't come off, I found that uh, a gentle application of steel wool takes it off. So, now the bars are uh, clean, I uh, just give them a light coating of grease before I put it away. And that seems okay. So I just need, need to put some grease on that grease nipple and uh, 
the other grey schnipple in the front and put the thing away. Till next time. <laughs> Once you've got all the uh, thick off with a scythe mower, you're left with this these thick tussocks which the scythe mower doesn't find very easy to deal with. So I have to knock them back with a with a lawnmower on the highest setting. with this dense fibrous <laughs> remains of these tussocks. If I keep on top of it I'll uh, next time lower the blade of the lawnmower. Um, it should be all right. Goodbye it's tough stuff. <laughs> it really is tough stuff. It's like Try to cut coconut matting. So here you can see the difference. On the left hand side <coughs> is a patch which I've left for wild beasties, and on the right hand side is uh, I've taken the thick off and I've cut it with a long one. You can see there is a vast difference between the two. And now it's, uh, it's all being cut off, hopefully. Uh, it will encourage more plants to grow there, more flowers. Because at the moment, this uh, tussock grass, it just outcompetes absolutely everything. Anyway, we'll press on. It's uh, big floods in Cornwall yesterday, making their way up here, the, these big thunderstorms. So I want to finish this off. Probably take me a couple of hours just to finish the last lot off which will be a relief. Anyway, press on. Well, that's the job finished. <laughs> it's taken four days to do it. But uh, it looks a lot better now it's done. So, that's very pleasing. <laughs> 